the first time in more than 20 years, Kansas City police will not have DUI checkpoints during the St. Patrick's Day celebration. State funding was pulled for checkpoints, but Kansas City police will still be out trying to get drunk drivers off the roads. Forty One Action News anchor Cynthia Newsom in Westport, where bars are getting ready for the big crowds there, Cynthia. They are indeed. I can tell you that uh, it is almost party time here in Westport for the uh, St. Patrick's Day weekend. The bars are stocking up on alcohol and Kansas City police are working on their new strategy to arrest people who drink and get behind the wheel of a car. Check out this video now. Get ready for the bagpipes and the parade floats. The St. Patrick's Day Parade in Kansas City is one of the biggest in the country. A fun time for families, but after the parade and into the night, some people celebrating with alcohol overindulge and get behind the wheel. Last year, during the St. Patrick's Day weekend, Kansas City police arrested more than 40 people in one night during the checkpoint. But this year, there will not be any checkpoints because there's no state funding. It's a preventable crime. That's the, the, the worst part of this and why it is especially frustrating not to be able to have every effective strategy available is that it is absolutely a preventable uh, crime for people to make better decisions. But we know not everybody makes good decisions. So for those that don't make good decisions, they need to understand that we're going to be out there doing everything we can to make the arrest and get them off the road. So this year, Kansas City Police will be doing what is called saturation patrols. Uh, police officers in their police cruisers will be driving around and looking for suspicious vehicles to pull uh, determine if the, they're going to make a DUI arrest. It's a much slower process, but police again said that they are determined to do what they can to get drunk drivers off the road. They are also asking people to self-govern, and if they've had too much to drink, do not get behind the wheel. Find another way to safely get home. Cynthia Newsom, 41 Action News.